With your Cougars Rewind, I'm Stephen Williams. Basketball season in Columbus has officially come to a close as the Peach Belt Conference Tournament wrapped up Sunday inside the Lumpkin Center. USC Aiken knocked off Montevallo for the men's championship, while number one Clayton State stayed undefeated for the season, defeating North Georgia in the women's final. During the spirit portion of the tournament, the Columbus State Cheer and Dance squads each won conference championships. For the cheerleading team, it's the 13th conference title and the 12th in the last 14 years. For the dance team, it's the 6th title overall and 1st since 2007. With the focus solely on spring sports now, the Columbus State softball team is hitting its stride as it kicked off PBC play over the weekend. The Lady Cougars traveled to UNC Pembroke and Francis Marion Saturday and Sunday and returned home a perfect 4-0 without giving up a run in any of the four games. CSU scored single runs in the third and sixth innings in the opening game against Pembroke as Casey Googe and Cody Ricketson each drove home a run. Molly Russell grabbed her ninth win of the year, tossing a five-hit shutout, and Columbus State won 2-0. The bats came alive in Game 2 as the Lady Cougars exploded for 11 runs. Kristen Carr and Casey Googe had the biggest hits of the game as Carr launched a grand slam in the third and Googe had a three-run home run in the fifth. Taylor Turner completed things in the circle with a five-inning shutout. The long balls continued on Sunday at Francis Marion as Brannigan Wicks and Taylor Turner hit solo home runs in the first of two games. Molly Russell was nearly perfect, allowing just one base runner over seven innings. The senior improved to 10-5 with the one-hit shutout. Columbus State took the opener 3-0. The pitching kept rolling along in the second game as Taylor Turner followed up Russell's performance with seven shutout innings of her own. However, the Lady Cougars couldn't scratch a run across during the first seven frames, and the game went to extra innings scoreless. Leading off the eighth inning, Corey Watts took matters into her own hands, hitting her conference leading 11th home run of the season off the scoreboard in left field to put CSU in front. Molly Russell slammed the door shut in the bottom half of the inning for her first save of the season to cap off the sweep. Columbus State has now won 12 games in a row and has tossed six straight shutouts, not allowing a run over the last 42 innings. Today, the Columbus State men's golf team opens play with the first two rounds of the first Federal Southeastern Intercollegiate in Valdosta. 13 of the participating 15 teams are currently ranked among the top 50 teams in the country. Stay up to date on the latest in Columbus State athletics on Facebook at facebook.com slash CSU Cougars and on Twitter by following at CSU Cougars.